guys, Tabby here, and welcome back to my channel. So guys, welcome back to another book box battle video for the month of July. Again, I am sorry these are a little bit late, but for all of those who are new, these are some of my book box subscriptions, and this is the video I do every month to battle them out to see which box, in my opinion, did better this month. And I actually have a brand new pairing. These boxes have never battled against each other, but I have Literary Crate versus shelf love crates I'm really excited to see which box comes out victorious so I'm gonna go ahead and battle these boxes if you are interested keep watching and let's get into it so I think I'm actually gonna start with shelf love crate this month and save lit joy crate for last let's oop, I'm dropping stuff already sneak peek okay <laughs> The theme for this month was Game On. This is the spoiler card, so I'll save it for last. And right on top, I see a pair of socks. Ooh, you guys know I love socks. And it says, oh, Ready Player One. And then it has like the keys and everything from like video games. These are amazing, I love the colors. Oh, you guys, I absolutely love Ready Player One, the movie. I have not read the book. I know, I know, but the movie is awesome. So I absolutely love these socks. So yes, great start to the box. Next I see Kiss, Mary Kill, book boyfriend edition. Whoa, that is so cool. It says roll all three dice at once. The three sides facing up are your new book boyfriends. Select which book boyfriend you prefer to kiss, which to marry, and which to kill. Play until no choice can be made. That is so cool. Hold on, let me see some of the options. Oh, we have Rowan, Elias, Will, Malfoy, <laughs> Legend, we have Kaz, Thorn, Raiden, Jon Snow, mm, yes, Dimitri, Darkling, ooh, the Darkling, ooh, I'd kill him, Jace, Gansey, Gansey, Rysand, Warner, Nikolai, Edward, oh, this is so fun, hold on, let me do one round. So I got Carden, Jon Snow, and Nikolai, Oh, this is so hard. Okay, I would kiss Jon Snow, because I mean, why not? I would marry Nikolai, because he's a freaking king, and I would kill Carden. That is awesome. Wow, I'm loving this box so far, guys. Okay, some wormies. Ooh, and we have another card set. Always victorious. Ooh, it's gonna take me five years to get this one out too. So these are gold and look at the back and it has some characters. These are gorgeous. What fandom is this from? Hold on. That's what I thought. Oh my gosh. This is an Ember in the Ashes inspired cards. I love an Ember in the Ashes. I think I said in a previous video that I just finished the series. I'm so ready for book four. These are gorgeous. And just the cards that have no character, still gorgeous. I think I like these more than the one we got in Alcrate. And I absolutely loved those. Wow. Just wow. Y'all, so far this box is killing it. Wow. Okay, and we have some more chess pieces. Oh, I know who this is. It is Katniss and Peeta. That is so cool. It even has her bow on there and then him with some bread. Oh, I ship them so hard. This is like one of my favorite couples. I love the Hunger Games series. The third book, mm, but the first one was amazing. Oh, I love these. And next we have Warcross inspired iron on patch Phoenix Riders. That is actually really pretty. I honestly don't think I'll put this on anything. Maybe a bag? 
but that's still really pretty. I have actually not read Warcross, so sad day. Next we have a really big box that says 3D Creative Visualization Lamp. Hold the phone, they gave us a lamp? Wow. <gasps> it's a golden snitch. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on, let me see if I can get it set up real fast. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay, I am a big fan. It's actually very bright. That is freaking amazing. I'm in love with this lamp. We got a lamp. I think that's the first time I've gotten a lamp in a box. Wow. Okay, and we are to the book. Let me take it out. And it came with a signed book plate, which we can put in the book, and a bookmark with the same design as our spoiler card, and shelf love crate on the back. And we also just got a letter from the author. So the book is The Beckoning Shadow by Katherine Blair. A power she can't control, a past she can't escape, a fight she can't lose. Ooh. It has like a different texture. It's not soft. It's, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but I actually really like the cover. Let's see what it looks like without. So just white with red on the spine. And we actually don't have a reversible dust jacket. So I guess they don't do reversible dust jackets every single month, but that is okay. This actually looks really good. I'm gonna read the description real fast. Vesper Montgomery can summon your worst fear and turn it into reality, but she'd rather not. She learned the hard way that it's an addicting and dangerous power, difficult to control and even harder to understand. One wrong move and you can accidentally hurt someone you love. She's better off alone, thank you very much, but then a chance encounter introduces Vesper to other people like her who have special abilities that separate them from your average baseline human. Finding them leads her to a once-in-lifetime opportunity, a spot in the Tournament of the Unraveling, where competitors battle it out for a chance to rewrite the past. Determined to avoid using her power, she turns to Sam Hardy, a former MMA fighter who's also carrying a tragedy he desperately wants to undo. However, helping heal Sam's heart will mean breaking her own, and the competition won't let her ignore what's inside her. She will have to master her powers, powers she has been terrified of since they destroyed her life. This thrilling and fresh contemporary fantasy from debut author Catherine Blair is an action-packed look at what happens when forces... When the forces of fear take on the strength of love. Ooh. That actually sounds really good. I will admit though, fighting and violence books are not my favorite. I don't like reading about fighting. I don't like watching fighting. I don't like violence. Um, so I'm interested to see how this turns out. Um, but it's a contemporary, so I'm excited to read it because I haven't read really a contemporary in a while. So yeah, I'm excited. So guys, that was everything from Shelf Love Crate. Let's take a quick look at the pamphlet. Just has the game on word search and then like a description of all of the items. The photo challenge. And August theme is Take Flight. And it will have fandoms such as Six of Crows, Harry Potter, The Raven Cycle, Nevernight, and Maleficent. Ooh. And Vendor Reveal is Laser Brain Patch Co. Ooh. So yeah, that is the pamphlet. Wow. As always, you guys will have to let me know what you think. What was your favorite item, least favorite? Y'all, these cards, the little book boyfriend dice, and the Golden Snitch Lamp blew my mind. These are absolutely amazing. That was such an amazing box from Shelf Love Crates. Just wow. But guys, let's go ahead and move on to Lit Joy Crates. Sneak peek. Okay, oh yeah, the theme for the box this month was Defender of Dragons. That's cool. And right on top, we have a Lit Joy Crate box. I'm assuming this is a bracelet. Ooh, that's on tight. And it is, oh, and it's silver, thank God. Ooh, it is Game of Thrones inspired, Mother of Dragons. And it has the House Targaryen sign. And it says Dracarys. 
and then we have like dragon scale oh that is so cool i'm gonna wear this i love game of thrones even though i don't like how it ended just saying but this is so cool okay great start to the box and we got some wormies and next we have a white box oh it's actually like one of those jewelry thing dishes thing I whatever it's called and it's how to train your dragon inspired we have toothless and then we have the light fury i don't know if they ever actually gave her a name i don't know if i will actually use this because i already have a jewelry box and this i kind of feel is for younger people um i might save this for bella when she gets a little bit older even though it's glass I don't know it's very pretty though and next we have some magnetic bookmarks oh let us take a look okay this looks like it is from how to train your dragon i'm kind of getting hobbit vibes like that's the dragon from hobbit this is of course is hagrid with his dragon uh norbert no what is the dragon's name i kind of think it's norbert i don't know why that's sticking in my brain and then another dragon. I don't know what this one is from, but you guys know how much I love magnetic bookmarks, especially the bookmarks from Ledger Great. I don't know why their bookmarks are just, there's just such good quality and they are so freaking cute. Hagrid's, of course, is my favorite, but I really love the dragon from The Hobbit. If it is the dragon from The Hobbit, I am not sure. And next we have, oh, this is so cute. Hold on, let me take it out. It is a book sleeve and it is based off Mulan and it says I'm travel size for your convenience. If I was my true size, your horse, your cow here would die of fright. That's how it goes. It's been a while. And then it has the lucky cricket. Oh, I love Mulan. That is so cute. And then just yellow on the inside. That was actually all of the items. We are already to the book. That doesn't seem like many items. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we only got four items this month. But we're gonna go ahead and move on to the book. So we actually do have it in a pouch this month and it's pink, which I really like that it's pink. But let's see which book we got. Oh, we do have the trading cards. Oh, I know who these are. This is Mortal Instruments. Oh God, I'm blanking on their names but this is the first one and then we have this chick with god i can't believe i'm blanking on their names but yeah we do have some trading cards we have the art print which is really pretty with the letter from the author on the back and the book this month is shatter the sky by rebecca kim wells Ooh, that's really pretty and it should be signed by the author it is signed Let's see what it looks like without. So just black and purple with hot pink on the side. I like that. And this is the reversible dust jacket this month. Just her flying. A dragon. Dragon. Oh, scary. That is really pretty. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read the description real fast. Raised among the ruins of a conquered mountain nation, Marin dreams of sharing a quiet life with her girlfriend, Kai, until the day Kai is abducted by the already prophetic agents of the Emperor and forced to join their ranks. Desperate to save her, Marin hatches a plan to steal one of the Emperor's coveted dragons and storm the already strongholds. If Marin is to have any hope of succeeding, she must become an apprentice to the Aramadri, the Emperor's mysterious dragon trainer. But Marin is unprepared for the dangerous secret she uncovers, rumors of a lost prince, a brewing rebellion, and a prophecy that threatens to shatter the Empire itself, not to mention the strange dream she's been having about a beast deep underground. With time running out, can Marin survive long enough to rescue Kai from impending death? Or could it be that Marin is destined for something greater than she could have ever imagined? Okay, that actually sounds pretty good. Um, might not be a book that I picked out. But guys, that was everything from Literary Crates. Let's take a quick look at their little pamphlet. Just talks about the description of the book again, the author, 
And then all of the items, Game of Thrones inspired bracelet, the dragon magnetic bookmark set. So yeah, that was the Hungarian horn tail that Harry fought in the Triwizard Tournament. Um, and then we do have Smog from The Hobbit, Stormfly from How to Train Your Dragon, and your favorite dragon mom, Hagrid. Oh, that's cute. The Night Fury, Light Fury uh, Dragon Trinket Dish, and then the Mushu Book Sleeve, and then the Trading Cards, which was Isabel and Simon. Wow, I cannot believe I like totally blanked on Simon's name. And then, of course, the July optional add-ons, which was the monthly inspired pin, which was Abraxos and Manon from the Throne of Glass series, which I absolutely love. And Dragon's um, Iced Tea by Riddle's Tea Shop. And that was it. The theme for August is Dressed for Deception. Ooh, okay. So guys, that was everything from Litra Crate. As always, you guys will have to let me know what you think, what was your favorite item, least favorite. Definitely for me, the magnetic book set and book sleeve holder were my favorite. These are so freaking cute. I did like the bracelet. Um, if I had to pick a least favorite item, it would probably be the little jewelry dish. Um, yeah, I think I'll put it in Bella's closet for when she's older. But by the time she's older, I don't know if she will want a How to Train Your Dragon. I don't know. Very pretty, but not my favorite item. So guys, now it is time to announce which box I think won for this month. And unlike Fairy Loot and Owlcrate, this one is actually very easy. Um, I think Shelf Love Crate killed it this month. I loved everything such a great box i am in love with this book boyfriend dice the golden snitch lamp and this gorgeous card deck i mean wow and the socks just just everything from shelf love crate was amazing so yeah that is my final decision shelf love crate won it for the month of july but as always you guys let me know in the comments down below do you agree with my decision or do you think litro crate should have won let me know what you guys think and as always thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel hey welcome feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of harry potter lovers and bookworms and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. We have Shelf Love Crate versus... I said that backwards. Prophetic... Prof, prophetic... Prophet? But that... I'm, so, I, let's do a... <laughs> wow! Why don't you use scissors, they ask. I don't need scissors. <laughs> Holy rabies. Open. Maybe if I do it from the other way. Ow, I'm just broken now. Sorry, that was super girly, but dang, that hurt. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Pita. Pita? Uh, we don't eat pita. Yeah, we don't eat pita. I like it. I like it, Mom. Me too, baby. Me too, Mommy. Find a look, 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 look. <laughs>